Welcome back to All The Things with Mandy and Whitney. So today's episode, we are going to be trying on dupes. So basically a dupe is when there is a high-end product and there is a product that has been made from a company that is more like a drugstore, lesser expensive option and see if we truly think that they are dupes for one another. So um, the what we are going to do today is we're both going to kind of try different ones. Um, one side we'll do with the dupe, one side we'll do with um, with the original version. And so the first thing we'll do is foundation. We've got um, the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation is supposed to be duped by this Revolution IRL filter. So we're gonna try this. And then for contour, we're gonna go in with the Revolution Eye Bright Concealer. It's in a dark, um, deep caramel color, and it's supposed to be a dupe for the um, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the bronzing wand or the contouring wand. And then for eyeshadow, <clears throat> we have the Chantecaille powder eyeshadow against the L'Oreal powder eyeshadow. This one's in the color Olivia and this one's in color, color Cafe Olé. And then for blush, um, we have two different options. I'm going to be doing the Revolution Bright Light Highlighter against the Glowgasm uh, Beauty Blush Wand. <laughs> and Mandy? I will be doing the uh, Rare Beauty, that's from Selena Gomez, versus the Dupe, which is uh, She Glam. Yep. For blush. And then, um, so for bronzer, I'm going to do the My Beloved Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer against the e.l.f. Luminous Bronzer. And Mandy's going to do? I'm going to do this Gucci bronzer versus the L'Oreal 24-Hour Infallible. Yeah. So we'll probably also throw in like a high-end lipstick versus um, a drugstore as well as one in mascara, but we don't have any side-by-side -side dupes. They'll just be kind of, you know, trying one versus the other. But um, all right, so we're going to take off <laughs> our makeup and we'll get started. All right. So here we go, guys. This is going to be the IRL um, filter F6 <laughs> um, on my left side. So we're doing low end on the left. Have you seen the video, Mandy, of, I'll have to find out what her name is, but there's a girl on TikTok who pumps out 10 pumps. Yeah, you sent it to me. I did? Mm -hmm. Well, oh. you sent you sent the girl making a dupe of her video. Okay, okay. But I have seen the girl you're talking about. OMG. I couldn't do that. Like, I could not stand to have that crap all over my <laughs> lips and my, uh, no. I was thinking we would do a video on that at some point. Uh, I think you'll do that video on your own because I can't, I can't handle it. Ugh. You know she's tasting that foundation in uh, her mouth. Yeah. Maybe not on Super Bowl viewing night <laughs> since you have some place to go. That crap will be all in your hair. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh. Okay. The problem I foresee here is that I Color think, match, not yeah, so much. The IRL is a shade lighter. You might have to redo your makeup before the Super Bowl fun. Or I could just go as two face. How does it like consistency wise on your hand? Yeah, it's definitely two different colors. Um, <laughs> consistency wise on your hands though. Um, do they feel similar? Yes, they do. Okay. As far as texture and uh, thickness and whatnot, very, very similar. Just not the same shade. So as you can see here, I have the NARS on the right here and the IRL over here, and the NARS is a shade darker. Besides the non-shade match, do you mm -hmm. feel like they're giving off the <clears throat> same kind of like look? Do you feel like they have the same amount of coverage? I will say, and I don't think this is due to the shade, I think the IRL may be a bit more of a matte finish okay. as opposed to because don't you feel like this is shinier than this over here yeah yeah I definitely but that do. and I don't think that could be attributed to the color I think that would be yeah you know okay 
So I'm going to bring your mirror up a little bit so you don't have to lean over. Now, second. as far as contour or bronzer. Oh, wait. Put on the contour first. Oh. And then bronze. Um, this you have to turn it on. Let's make sure it's on. There you go. Wait. You have to squeeze high. it. Okay, but high end on the right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm really terrified of it. See, that's going to be so dark. Don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> oh, it's not as dark. It blends as I out pretty well. Okay. So you're saying you would use this? So this is a contour, right? These two are contours, and then those are your bronzers. I mean, I don't know that I really use bronzer. I only use that for the purpose of contouring. Like, I okay. don't really. So would I use that? You'll use it today just so okay. you can show the difference. When you said that earlier about trimming your nose, I was like, is she telling everybody online she needs to trim her nose hairs? Oh my God. No, <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> slim my actual nose. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's funny. Do you twist this one as well? Yep. I mean, look at that. They look almost just alike just before I smear it out, you know. It's just so different. Workability-wise, are they, like, meshing in about the same? I would say so. And neither is as dark as you think it's going to be. Okay. <coughs> Tell them what you're using. Yes. This is the Gucci bronzer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gucci. Here's the lid. Gucci bronzer. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Have I used this before? I don't know. Maybe not. And then compared to the L'Oreal 24-hour infallible fresh wear on the other side. This is light medium. Like, I loved that Gucci until I got the L'Oreal. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're like twins. I mean, literally, I don't think I would be able to tell the difference. And the L'Oreal is like so much cheaper. Hmm. So we'll make sure um, when we edit to uh, find the prices of all this stuff and do a direct comparison of price, too. Okay. For blush, this is the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Do we have a shade? Hope is the shade. Oh, I maybe you should not have put quite so much of that. <laughs> and then the dupe, we're trying She Glam. Does this have a shade? Love cake. Oh, <laughs> did that blend out really light? I hope so. Okay, yeah. All right. Then next we were gonna do. How did those compare? You think the. Did you feel like they went on about the same, felt about the same, anything, any thoughts between those two? I don't know if it's just because this one's a wee, the, the sheet lamp's just a wee bit brighter, but I think I liked it a little better. As far as consistency and texture, I think they were probably about the same. Okay. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say probably paying more for this and it may not be worth it. <laughs> Okay, um, next, what were we going to do? Oh, yes. eyeshadows. Okay. All right. We're going to do it under the night. I'm just going to kind of do it under the night. 
Okay, this is Chantecaille. What color? Mermaid. Oh, uh, oh, it's Mermaid Eye Matte with a color Olivia. And then on the other side, we'll be doing L'Oreal. I don't see a color. Color British. Cafe. How old you? Olay. Olay. Cafe Olay. I'm so glad I have your eyes. <laughs> I can't believe your eyes are so bad. Well, it's only if it's close up because I refuse to get bifocals. <laughs> Old lady. <laughs> I'm going to get LASIK. Those are like almost identical, man. <laughs> I mean, seriously, can you even tell one eye to the other? I think that one's a, maybe a little bit darker, but maybe you're putting on more. I'm not sure. I feel like they're exactly the same. <laughs> whoa, yeah. whoa. Okay. And then um, mascara. Um, on the dupe side, I'll be using this L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. Um, it gave instructions on the package on how to use it. One side of the brush is supposed to be for lifting, and the other is supposed to be for separating. But I will be honest with you, I look at this brush, and I cannot tell one side from the other, so I'm just putting it on. So we didn't have, like, a true dupe for mascaras. Um, I have heard that the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Push-Up Mascara is supposed to be... Um, the high-end match to this L'Oreal, but we didn't have that today, so we're just putting it up against NARS Climax. And I think that Charlotte Tilbury one has the same concept where you Lift and separate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably. That's probably why they compared them. But you know, that Makeup Forever one I bought that you just, you said you already had, it's the same thing. There's a step one on one end and a step two on the other, and I think it's the same concept. I, I didn't like it at all, though. That was just my personal opinion. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, and then lipstick. What did we say? Right here. Um, we have the NARS. Uh, what shade is this? Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita. Or She Glam. In my head. So which one should I use? I, I don't have both. Put one on one, one half and one on the other half. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh. That's going to be a weird concept, but I'm going to do it. Okay. color. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Batman movie. I'm playing Two-Face. So. Oh goodness. All right. So that's your final look. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, color, color changes or whatever aside, mm -hmm. um, is there a side that you like better? Do you, which do you think, which items do you think were the best dupes for one another? I will be quite honest with you. As far, I do believe that if this IRL was a shade darker, I would absolutely think it was just like the NARS. Um, yeah, totally. Um, the eyeshadows, the Chantecaille and L'Oreal, so similar I wouldn't be able to tell them apart if I didn't see the label on there. Um, the Gucci and the L'Oreal, as far as bronzers, I mean, seriously, so similar. I don't believe I would know the difference if you didn't have a label on them. Um, hard to say about these. 
I'm, I'm not a fan of either one of these, really. I don't. I don't know. I just didn't. They can't see what she's. She's holding oh. up the contour sticks. Yeah, the contour sticks, the Charlotte Tilbury, and the Revolution. Neither. I, these just aren't my jive. So, um, I won't give an opinion as to which one was better on that. You might have a comment. Um, husband, have you been paying attention to which side is which? Because if not, I'm just curious. By looking at Mandy, which side would you say is the high end side? Um, probably the one to her right on the right side. So this side? Yes. That's correct. That is correct. Okay. All right. But we still think that the low end side works. But I will point out that I think Sean might be biased because when it comes to makeup, he's a less is more type of guy. <laughs> and this is bright lipstick. And I think that's, yes, that's swaying his opinion. <laughs> Thank so, you for speaking for me. Anyway. <laughs> All right, my turn. So low end on this side, high end on this side. It seems so mean to be calling it low end, but you guys know what we mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So the makeup revolution, IRL going on side of my face. I gotta say, I have, you know, been wearing some of these products over the last week and um, have really enjoyed low, lower end budget drugstore options. I think one reason is because you feel like you can go wild in there and buy 40 different colors of the same thing because <laughs> you're only paying, you know, five bucks for it or whatever. True, true. <clears throat> And that's a good reason to love it. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to go in with the NARS. It's so weird that it doesn't pump out much. Maybe it's because the bottle's getting low. Wait, I've used about half of it, haven't I? I will say I think the, um, the NARS feels a little bit thinner in consistency. I know Do you, you said you thought the IRL was much more matte than the NAR, so I'll have to see what I think. Okay, so I do think that um, they both provided good coverage. Um, I felt like it was a little bit thinner on my hand, but it applied similarly. Let me see. Um, what do you think about in terms of is one of them? Why does it not look as dark on you as it does on me? I don't know. Yeah, they kind of do. I, it looks like a shade match on me, doesn't it? Yeah. That's weird. That is weird. I don't know, man. So weird. Okay. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I think, I think both products are good. So, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know what to say there. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Revolution Eye Bright um, thing that I'm using as a contour wand. Now, I have not put the Charlotte Tilbury on the other side of my face yet, but I just know because I've used it so much um, that it is easier to blend. Now, if you've got the time and you want to mess with blend something there. taking something longer to blend, then yeah, this is a good price point, but... I know I need to start doing the nose thing. I just... You don't need to thin your nose. Your oh. nose looks fine. See, this, like, I can just tap this in and it's gone. Like, it, it blends in. The other one, I felt like I was really having to, like, mash to get it to go in. And I still feel like it's not quite in. But, I mean, overall, like, if you can't get your hands on the Charlotte Tilbury and you want something similar, I do think the Revolution does make sense. And it is cheaper. And they look pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so the other thing is my beloved, 
I have talked about it so much. My Mario Skin Enhancer. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to swatch this on my hand, too, just so that we can see if there is, like, a difference. All right, so I put this on my hand. And then I'm going to go in with the... It's harder to get into this pot. I mean, look at that, Mandrew. Mm, very similar. They look the same. They feel the same when I slid them across my hand with my finger. They're both sheer. They're both glowy. Like, true dupe, man. And nobody else, like, I've been watching. I've been watching people trying the e.l.f. Luminous Bronzer to see if anybody else is catching on to it being a dupe. And nobody else has caught on to it. So, You're we revolutionary. May, we may have discovered this. All right, so. Going in with the e.l.f. on this side, on the left side. Okay. And I'm going to make up by, which by the way, I've been calling it Mario all this time, and everybody else has too, but apparently it is Mario. So, yeah. Make up by Mario. Doesn't even sound right to me. Well, I think that's always been a thing. Like, even when I was a kid, some people called it Mario Brothers. Some people called it Mario Brothers. What do you think? Very similar. Very similar. Okay, so now I already know and I can already tell you, these two items, they are not the same color. So this is not going to look like a dupe from a color perspective. And this is going to be really fun to have to wear on different sides of my face at this point. But, um, but I think... Like, the style, the way you put on the product, the, the like, finish of it look very, very similar. All right. So, and I'm going to put them next to each other so you can see, too. That one is not quite as sheer, so I'm going to shake that up just a little bit. Okay. So, not the same color. But you can see they're both very metallic-like for blushes. So both, like the um, the Charlotte Tilbury is supposed to be able to kind of be a highlighter blush in one where you don't have to use a highlighter with it. And I would say you could really do the same for the other. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And they both have those little squeezy sponges. See how much, like, the glitter, like, not glitter, but, like, the mm -hmm. shine aspect of it? Mm -hmm. It does have a metallic finish. Could have had it much lighter. Cause... So the Charlotte Tilbury is nowhere as sheer, but... Um, <coughs> So you just have to go in on it lighter, but I mean, gosh, even on like, mm -hmm. wow, dupes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and then I know you got some other. No, I can't wait to get that off too because I will get that on my clothes. Um, what's next? Blush? No, I just put on blush, mm -hmm. eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't have something different from what Mandy put on. I'm putting on the same thing. Low end is the L'Oreal. And I love a good matte shadow. I just think they look so nice. Now, this one maybe, I'm going to put them on my hand too. This one may pull a little bit grayer than the other one does, but let's see. Yeah, it's maybe a hint more brownish. Yeah. 
So, but not enough to matter. The Chantecaille is a little bit grayer. The L'Oreal is a little bit browner. But in terms of consistency, um, all of that, I mean, I think very similar. Okay, so mascaras. Yeah, you can't even tell the difference in my eyeshadows, can you? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to try and do the color in the <laughs> I'm glad you can. Do you, can you tell one side of the brush is different than the other? Well, I'm... Using this side to push up, oh, okay. believe is what I'm doing. And then, I don't know. I told you, it's hard. Well, maybe I'm using this to brush through. Okay. So somebody tell us. Um, that's tried both the L'Oreal Telescopic and the Charlotte Tilbury push-up if they are similar. I just love this NARS mascara. This NARS mascara is good. You just want to say the word climax a lot. I didn't say climax. Twice. You did. Oh. So you're the one who likes to say it. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's shaking his head at us. It wasn't what are you shaking time. your head for? Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, now we're going to go in with the lipstick, but it's obviously two different shades. Of course, on me, maybe it'll look the same. Yeah, it'll probably look great on you. Uh-uh. No, this is definitely a different color. You don't know you don't have the other one on right now. Uh, well, I've put the other one on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I do like the little... I mean, this even has a magnetic... Closure, like does it? Yes, it sure does. She glam is all about it. <laughs> Look at me. It's two different lipsticks yeah, for sure. Clearly, clearly. So these were not a dupe, but I will say, like in terms of moisture and like glow. And all that, they look pretty similar. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, um, you know, for end of look looks, let's make the lipstick look the same. Okay. Um, instead of having it be two different. Now, wouldn't you have to put the darker over the lighter? To make it look right? I'm just going to smear them all together. Oh, okay. I think. And see if that works. I think it looked okay. Is it close enough? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that works for my lipstick. My face is still clearly lighter on one side than the other. But. So here's my final look. Um, I mean, can y'all tell the difference? No. Like, do high end, low end. No. Yeah. So, guys, we will total up the prices and see what the difference is between what we put on one side and what we put on the other. So, all right. So let's show us both. All right, so this is both of our um, full-on face with dupe on this side and high-end on this side. And I think I think we, we duped it out here. I think we found some good ones. For sure. Um, I think we are the first ones to find the Makeup by Mario um, dupe. So we're going to put this all out there. You guys share it, tell people. That was a good dupe. We are the founders of it. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let the record show. Let the record show was us. All of the things with Whitney and Mandy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let us know what you all think about the dupes, um, which ones you will be willing to try. Like um, this video, comment below, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification ring bell so you can be notified of future <laughs> videos. Thanks. Bye. Bye.